Hello all my peeps. Okay, so I'm really excited for this video, right? I planned it. I've just took the time to write things down, practice what I'm doing, made every single shot perfect, and I used a little special effects to make everything look absolutely perfect. I'm just really excited that I don't even know what to say. But yeah, I've done that. I know what I'm saying, except for this. But I've met every single shot really good. Made sure they're all good, including this one. You might not even see this shot in the video because I might say something stupid. Okay, so let's get to the video. Let's go. So before I started waking myself up, I did not know that you would always skip your first alarm. But now, I do, and I'm one of those millions of people that turns on like five alarms and skips four of them. After I finally wake up, I take my phone and head to the bathroom. So once I put my hair in a ponytail and put my nice little headband on, just wet my face with some warm water. First I have to roll my sleeves up, that would not be good if I got all my sleeves wet. So you just wet your face and I use a solid glycerin bar in the morning, but in the night I use something different. So be sure to subscribe to my channel to see what I use in my next video. After I dry my face with my little towel, I just like to apply some Persia Gel by Clean Clear because that's exactly what I want to be, clean and clear. So after I finish applying my Persa Gel, I just use some tinted moisturizer. I know it says anti-aging, but I'm not really aging that much. And then that is what I look like when I've applied it. And then all you gotta do is rub it in. And I put it on my eyes and also the bridge of my nose because I wear glasses and it gets all red. But you don't want to put it on your forehead or the rest of your nose because it makes more oils, which is bad for your skin. Teeth, the hardest part. I know I need to get braces soon, so I'm trying to be really consistent with my teeth. Every morning and every night. And when I'm done brushing, I just switch to mouthwash. But yeah, I always have a dorky moment like that. Got it all over my face. So you just scrub it all up and spit it all out. Now time for the mouthwash, and you'll see here it says kids because I use kids. If it has alcohol in it, then it stings my mouth. I've tried it before. So you just squeeze it up, and it's kind of cool, this little thing. It fills it up to the right amount. Now you get to see me struggling to put it in my mouth. It's so weird. I don't know why I don't like doing it, because I like it when I'm finished with it. It's really satisfying, but... It's just weird to put it in your mouth. I mean, look at the flavor. It's it's kiwi watermelon. That's totally your typical candy flavor. Everyone likes that flavor. Let's make that our flavor. Ah, oh, that's totally what they said when they were thinking of that.
Next thing I do is brush my hair because I usually have a lot of tangles from sleeping unless I put it in a ponytail. Once I'm about done brushing my hair, then I just use some coconut milk and put that in my hair. Dun -da -da, coconut milk! It's actually a heat protectant for when I straighten my hair, and it's just really good for your hair. Also, this doesn't really matter, but it feels really good on your hands, just like coconut oil. So all you have to do is just put it through your hair and then brush it through. And like I said before, it feels really good on your hands, oh yeah. So now you just want to make sure you brush it all through, but then it doesn't really matter because we're going to brush it again with Frizzy Straight Fixation Styling Cream. This is really helpful for when you straighten your hair or blow dry it or curl it or whatever you do. So you just want to put a good amount in your hand, roll it around, and put it through your hair. And this doesn't feel as good as the coconut milk, obviously, because it's just this jelly substance. So you kind of want to make sure you get most of it in your hair. Most of the time you have a little bit extra on your fingers, so just make sure you get that out or else it'll be really hard to straighten your hair. So you just want to brush it all through and then get your flat iron out because you're about to straighten your hair. Now my hair was already kind of straight, but it still had some curls in it, so it wasn't as satisfying as it would be normally, but it's still pretty good. Now that you're done straightening your hair, you can just flip it and take a moment to just admire this amazing flip of the hair. And once you're done playing with your hair, you can just brush it again. And I like to brush it up. This might seem really weird, but once you're done straightening it, it might seem a little flat. So if you just brush it up like that, it's pretty good. Now I brush most of my hair up, but not too much because that would just look really weird. But if you do brush it up, it helps a little bit if your hair isn't as fluffy. But there we go. And this time, I had a really good hair day, so the side of my hair was actually cooperating, so I decided to just hairspray it to make sure it stayed like that. Picking the hair out of your hairbrush. Everyone does it. It's kind of satisfying, but also really gross. But still, it is satisfying. So the last thing I do is do my eyebrows with this pencil. Oh yeah. I didn't actually buy this pencil. My mom just kind of gave it to me. So thanks, Ma. There we go. Just get all the spots so it doesn't look absolutely pathetic. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you curly-haired people got some tips for straightening your hair, or just everyone else got some tips for what to do when you wash your face, or just, you know, anything in the morning. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video, like, comment below, subscribe if you really enjoyed it. You can do it those few little seconds just to hit the like button. All you gotta do is click the like, like button. Right there. You can do it. Just click the like button. Okay. Bye, my peeps. Stay on fleek. Let's have a good stick moment. Oh, wait. Arf, arf.
Oh, oh, oh.